Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make the best tuna steaks, better known as ahi tuna steaks. So let's get started. Alright, let's talk protein. So I ended up picking up fresh tuna steaks from Costco. You can usually get them for 35 bucks or so and it's quite generous. Here's some of the ingredients that you're gonna need. If you can, pick up some black and white sesame seeds, but I just had the regular stuff and that's fine. Grab your favorite wasabi sauce. You're gonna need some mayo, soy sauce, and I'm resting the entire dish on some sauteed kale with a side of garlic sauteed broccoli. First, we're gonna go ahead and make the side sauce. Grab two tablespoons of mayo and mix it with one tablespoon of wasabi. Next, we're gonna mix in about two teaspoons of lemon or lemon juice. And then we're gonna go ahead and season with salt and black pepper. Give everything a nice thorough mix and then go ahead and taste it for flavor. Some people like it a bit more tangy, so you can add a little bit more lemon or you can add some wasabi. And that's it, the sauce is done. All right, now it's time to prep the tuna steaks. First, we're gonna give the steaks a bath in soy sauce. Make sure you get both sides and the edges. Go ahead and let the steaks soak for a minute or two. This really seasons your tuna steaks and gives them that added flavor. Next, we're gonna go ahead and brush wasabi on all corners and edges of the tuna steaks. This is a critical step because it allows you to stick all the sesame seeds on the tuna steaks. Next, you guessed it, we're gonna dip the tuna steaks in the sesame seeds. Make sure you get all the sides and the edges. I'm using regular sesame seeds, but if you can, get black and white sesame seeds because it gives an amazing contrast and a bit more flavor. All right, now it's time to sear your tuna steaks. Go ahead and light your burner on medium heat and use your favorite non-stick skillet. I'm using carbon steel. Then we're gonna put about two to three tablespoons of olive oil. Let the oil get up to temperature and place your ahi tuna steaks in. You want to sear all sides of the ahi tuna steaks until the sesame seeds turn to a nice golden brown color. You don't want to overcook the steaks or burn them. Basically all you're doing is giving that nice outer crust for the tuna. The inside's going to remain raw. Alright, next we're going to go ahead and saute some garlic broccoli. Go ahead and wipe your skillet clean and put about two tablespoons of olive oil. Then throw in your broccoli. Go ahead and let them sizzle in the pan for about one to two minutes aside. Stir fry occasionally and season with salt and black pepper. Next, you're gonna go ahead and crush one garlic clove into the broccoli. Add as much garlic cloves as you want for that garlicky flavor. Next, we're going to add a splash of lemon juice and make sure you stir the broccoli around so it doesn't burn. The sauteed garlic broccoli is done. Next, we're going to go ahead and saute some kale. Just like before, we're going to wipe the pan clean and add about two tablespoons of olive oil. Place your kale in there and just when it starts to shrink, add some more olive oil on top. This ensures we have enough flavor. Go ahead and season with salt and black pepper. Move the kale around frequently so you can ensure that it's getting cooked on all sides. The kale will shrink considerably, so make sure you add more than you need. Once the kale has a nice golden color and has softened up quite a bit and shrunk, it's pretty much ready to be plated.
Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the ahi tuna steaks. This is a really simple and extremely healthy recipe. I highly recommend it. If you love seafood or pokey, you're gonna love this dish. It has a very fresh, unique taste, and the seared outside sesame seeds really give it a nice crunch and texture. The sauce is tangy and super delicious, and the side of broccoli adds an additional garlic crunch. The bed of kale soaks in all the remaining flavors. This is an amazing dish, and I'm gonna be making it more frequently. As always, guys, thank you for watching my video. Be sure to look out for my next video, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a great day. Hey there, did you like that video? If you did, I'd really appreciate your help. See, I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers as soon as possible. If you can subscribe, hit the like button, hit the notification bell so you get notified of my next video, I'd really appreciate it. And if you could share with your family and friends, that would help a lot. Thanks guys, I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a great day.